there is my Husky 701 supermodel and my quest for a lightweight supermodel ends with uh, this Husky if anybody is in the lookout for a supermodel you should tend to consider the Husky 701 KTM S690 SMCR uh, gas gas SM700 which is technically all KTM underneath and you should also try out the Ducati 698 mono most other people will like it the engine note on this one is a more um, industrial I don't know whether that is the right word engine note on the Husky is more dirt bikey but the exhaust nod which you get from a Ducati seems to be more civilized in nature. I brought it down with the brake. That is okay. That's what I want to get to. Well, look at the handguard. This can take punishment. The Ducati, if you do it like this, it will come off. Um, all of this is more rugged in nature in the event of a fall or whatever can i do everything what a supermoto is intended to do like the wheelies not yet can i do stoppies not yet can i do skids yeah i'm practicing the wheelies can i do the leg out riding yeah can i take it to a track yeah i have taken it to a track but it was not great because in the straights you will tend to lose out um, but in the go-kart this one shines and guess what this is even more lighter compared to Ducati even with Ducati's hoo-ha of putting in the lithium-ion battery and um, go with all lightweight components and everything else this one is still lighter than Ducati this is a 48 millimeter shock Ducati's is a 45 millimeter shock but when you look at the Ducati it looks like a little bigger maybe because of the golden coloration on the fork this one comes with a uh, USB charger and probably the Ducati does not really come with a USB charger this one has this adjustability of your forks and this is perfect for the fact that by looking at it you can immediately see whether it's more or less or whatnot Ducati has got a triangular kind of thing and you wouldn't really know uh, by looking at it yes this is what you need at the track or no this is not what I needed in the track so for me when I'm in the track I move it one or two more at the maximum and after the track if I forget to, to change it I can immediately look at it oh yeah I forgot to change it I can come look at it and change it the dash it gives you everything what you need but it does not have the usability of um, the Ducati it gives you a lot more information at once compared to this one it's an individual choice um, Ducati with the kick shifter goes for 20,000 ringgit more than what it is going for the Husky or the KTM this one goes in for 60,000 ringgit while the RV with the quick shifter uh, goes in for about 80,000 ringgit, 79 ish kind of thing. So, from a price point of view, this is a great bargain, in my opinion. Uh, I always wanted a supermoto, but my idea of a road going supermoto initially was the Ducati Hypermoto 950. Then I slowly tend to realize that that's not going to work on everything which I want to do and slowly shifted my focus on to the KTM or the Husky so that's how I ended up 
buying this has corona there is not a lot of these on the roads here it's not for everybody seat on the husky is a lot narrower compared to that is in ducati um, the lack of a tank in the front and the tank at the back with the weight balancing helps on the husky um, this wide thing in the front will definitely help with gripping your leg eventually you will get to get to come in terms with it and learn to ride it by gripping um, the motorcycle with your knees there is no wind protection whatsoever in the front so the wind buffeting on this one is way too much but look at the plus points you get a motorcycle where you, you can do knee downs you can do the leg out riding you can do wheelies you can do stoppies and got big shocks and long travel suspension in here so this means that occasionally if you want to take it off road you can do that too you don't have to worry about scraping the underbelly or none of that do you like this one with the fluorescent yellow and look at me kind of thing or do you like the one of the best looking super motors out there which is the 698 mono it's a personal choice do i like this motorcycle i love this motorcycle for everything it is you can change the directions i can take it to the office i can take it to the track i can take it to the go-kart change directions almost instantaneously so lightweight yeah maybe down on power a little bit but other than that whoa it is okay it's a perfect motorcycle for you to do the hooligan stuff this will get you into trouble sooner than what you think does it serve as an everyday motorcycle for you with a more nimble lightweight thing where you can do the leg out riding as well as the knee down all in one yes perfect in my opinion test ride this motorcycle if you have the opportunity to do that then make a buying decision between this one or the ducati even if you go for a ducati uh, it's a supermoto 698 mono is a supermoto while the hypermoto 950 is not really a supermoto give it a shot test ride the motorcycle if you are into it if there is still youth left inside you go for it but i want to perfect my wheelies that is the only reason why i bought this will i get to perfect my wheelies i will that being said everybody see you from both of us and uh, thank you for watching